Narcos is hands down one of the most delightful new shows. It's got an A-plus behind-the-scenes team led by showrunners Joe Port and Joe Wiseman, but there's one particular standout quality of the series that just plain old doesn't work without spot-on casting. It's the show's ability to switch from deeply emotional moments to laugh-out-loud one-liners on a dime. Just in case you've yet to jump into this joy of a show, Ghosts on CBS is an adaptation of the British series of the same name. Rose McIver leads a Sam, a woman who moves into a home she inherits with her husband Jay, a Karsh Ambud car. One day, she falls down the stairs and when she comes to, she realizes she can see the ghosts of people who have died on the property. Those ghosts include Azure Grodman's Trevor, a Wall Street bro who died in 2000, Danielle Penix Alberta, a Prohibition-era jazz singer, Brandon Scott Jones's Isaac, an American revolutionary officer, and Rebecca Wasaki's Hetty who's actually one of Sam's ancestors. Collider video of the day with ghosts set to return for a second season on September 29th. The entire cast came to San Diego Comic Con to celebrate, and while there, they took a moment to swing by the Collider interview studio for a chat about their experience making Season 1 and to tease what's to come in Season 2. The first of two interviews includes McIver, Wasaki, Pinnock. Jones, and Grodman, and spends a good deal of time digging into how exactly they're able to excel with comedy and emotion simultaneously. One of the first scenes we touched on is one of the most unforgettable moments of the entire first season, it's when Sam commits to maintaining her connection with the ghost rather than risk breaking it to lift the curse that could be stopping them from turning the house into a successful B&B. McIver began by teasing how we might see that moment reverberate through the characters' relationships in season 2, again, Ghost does jump from the sweet and sensitive to hilarious antics often, but this particular scene does feel like a masterclass in successfully making those leaps. Jones offered a little insight into how they accomplish that by highlighting some priorities when tackling such scenes, if you're looking for the secret sauce to nailing tonal shifts mid-scene, it was Wasaki who might have revealed it, Wasaki went on to highlight the value of an ideal scene partner when discussing another personal favorite scene of season 1 that happens in episode 10, Possession. It's when Jay's left Hetty's body and Hetty feels compelled to tell Sam, don't live your life with regrets, Samantha. Here's what Wasaki had to say about finding the ideal tone for that especially powerful line of dialogue, as for Grodman's Trevor, we do get some opportunities to see the kind of guy he really is earlier on in the season, but it isn't until episode 16, Trevor's Pants, that we really get a sense of who he is and what he stands for. Trevor may seem to fit in perfectly with his Wall Street co-workers, but we eventually come to learn that he's willing to step up when necessary. What is it that makes Trevor the kind of guy who's willing to break the bro code when the others won't? Grodman revisited having that exact conversation with Port and Wiseman, and finally, Pinnock is an electric force as Albert in this series. She consistently ups the energy and lights up the room whenever Alberta is on screen.
But, Pinnock insists she also has a vulnerable side and tease that that's something we might get the chance to see via the evolution of Alberta's relationship with Pete, eager to hear more from the group on what's to come in Ghost Season 2. You're going to want to check out our full conversation in the video at the top of this article. And stay tuned, we'll have another Ghosts interview with that Karsh on boot car, Richie Moriarty, Sheila Carrasco, Roman Saragossa, and Devin Chandler long for you soon.